We know from the news that uh, in the Philippines the, the government launched a war on drugs. Actually that's a war on drug users and the Philippines government is now accused by many other governments and international bodies such as the UNODC as supporting uh, extrajudicial killing of people. Uh, can you explain us like where this whole uh, idea of the war on drugs is coming from, how this all war on drugs evolved or developed in, in, in the Philippines. Okay. When uh, Mr. Duterte got elected in 2016, he unleashed upon the Filipino nation this war on drugs, as uh, he called it. And uh, based on the last report of uh, the government, they have now killed more than 20,000 Filipinos and they categorized it into two. One is those deaths resulting from police operations. Then another 16,000 died or killed by unknown assailants. But the problem is uh, the Duterte administration reported it as an accomplishment of their administration officially. So they are crediting themselves with 20,000 deaths. And uh, these uh, people who were killed didn't go any uh, due process or they didn't have their day in court. They were just arbitrarily listed in some sheet of paper by uh, the community officials. And this list is the one being used by the policemen to hunt down these people. And uh, in so many cases, these people are not even the ones listed because there are also reports that uh, there is a bounty uh, for every person killed. There is around uh, $200 worth of bounty that goes to the policeman who gets to kill a Filipino. So this is a, uh, a messed up system of uh, addressing the problem of uh, illegal drugs. Now, Here's the, the thing, the son of uh, Mr. Duterte is himself implicated in uh, a large shipment of, uh, of meth that uh, went unpunished by uh, Mr. Duterte. In fact, he exonerated the different officials uh, linked with his son and uh, that's why all of these tons of uh, illegal drugs are coming in and uh, without being uh, made to account uh, for their actions. And just a few days ago, the known drug lords of uh, the Philippines who are close friends with Mr. Duterte have been exonerated by the Department of Justice. So I label this uh, war on drugs uh, uh, by Duterte as fake. This is just a means for him for him to, con co to control uh, the different segments of society and that's really to address uh, illegal drugs. And even so, this approach has been proven to have failed in uh, other countries who have tried to employ it. Do you think that uh, uh, the Filipino people or the majority of the Filipino people support this war on drugs or is it just uh, fear uh, which is behind? Okay, the, the war on illegal drugs per se is perceived as a, a collective effort by the Filipino people to treat the illegal drug problem as a serious problem. So everybody's on board uh, that uh, policy. But what they disagree with is the method of uh, Mr. Duterte of killing suspected drug users and drug pushers. Because uh, uh, all of us believe that uh, it's not the, the right approach. It's very inhumane and uh, it has proven to be uh, uh, not effective at all as experienced by other countries. And uh, we also believe that uh, these drug users should be able to be rehabilitated and uh, given a chance to be reintegrated in the mainstream of society. You know that the uh, Philippines is a Catholic country, so yes. what, what, what role the church plays in this? The uh, Catholic Church in the Philippines has been very active in, uh, in promoting human rights and denouncing the extrajudicial killings. They have also been um, a sanctuary of uh, the victims, uh, families, 
and uh, some of the witnesses and even those who are uh, part of the death squads of uh, Mr. Duterte. So I believe uh, they are doing their part. It may be muted um, comparatively, but uh, everybody is doing their part. Is it dangerous to be an opposition politician now in the Philippines? So uh, is, is your own personal safety in danger? It's very dangerous right now to be part of the political opposition. One colleague of mine, uh, Senator Dilima, has been uh, imprisoned arbitrarily because of trumped-up charges, uh, totally fabricated. But with her detention, it sent a chilling message to all the other politicians not to cross with Mr. Duterte. As for myself, um, uh, we have a witness who, who told us that uh, they were actually ordered by Mr. Duterte to have me killed. And uh, I am also facing uh, several cases that they trumped up uh, just to put me away. But uh, for as long as I'm standing and I'm uh, I'd be able to speak out, I would speak out and uh, tell the whole world about uh, the plight of the Filipino people. What can the world do? What can the international community do to help the Filipino people? The international community has been uh, a very big help in uh, putting um, pressure on the Duterte administration to respect uh, human rights and uh, due process and the rule of law. And uh, that somehow uh, slowed down the uh, killing machine of uh, Duterte. So we are appealing still to the international community to continue to, to help us with our situation in the Philippines and uh, just keep on putting the pressure on Mr. Duterte. How do you see the future? Like, where do you see the, 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 the light in the end of the tunnel? Definitely. Um, we have seen it before. Uh, tyrants like Duterte have fallen, um, much stronger tyrants like him. But uh, they suffered ignomin ignominious ends. And uh, we feel Duterte would suffer the same fate. And uh, besides, uh, he's not necessarily a young man. So there is uh, a finite uh, uh, length of time that he would be in power. How would the ideal drug policy look like, which you would prefer that, that would be optimal for the Philippines? Uh, we would have uh, preferred the uh, more holistic approach in uh, addressing the illegal drug problem, uh, addressing the demand side, for example, uh, through harm reduction and rehabilitation and uh, a massive indoctrination uh, for the, the youth, those particularly who have yet to touch uh, illegal drugs, they should be informed about uh, the negative effects uh, on their bodies and uh, on their uh, futures. But uh, for the supply side, we need uh, stronger information exchange with other nations, uh, tighter border controls, and uh, so that we can stop the, uh, the proliferation of uh, the drugs in, uh, in our country. So uh, these are some of the ideas uh, that we have in mind. Thank you very much, Senator, for talking to us, and I wish you luck for your work. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, sir.